Today I stand here to say that I have decided to join the Republican Party of Georgia. I supported children and families over the teachers union. I supported the Republican position not to defund the police. What it reflects is a reality. That's Georgia's state representative Misha Maynor. She just left the Democratic Party to become a Republican in Georgia, no less, which could have huge implications for the 2024 presidential election. It's very reasonable to think that Georgia could decide. The president, Misha, joins us now. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, help, help us understand, Was this is this been a long time coming or was there a, a snap decision? Um, it was not a snap decision. I was elected, you know, I've done three terms. And from the moment I've walked in the Democratic Party, um, at the Capitol has been antagonistic towards me. Um, I've put up with it for three years. And, you know, after they started putting checks up on social media for people to run against me, I really had to sit back and say, maybe I am not a part of this um, group. What is it that you think makes you, did they leave you or did you leave them? Because at one point you thought you were a Democrat. Are you worried? So I think black people just, you know, that's all we know, right? All we know is to go vote and to be a Democrat. Um, it wasn't until being elected where I'm reading the policy to make the best decisions for my constituents that I'm realizing if you read the fine print, these are things that totally are not in support of communities that I represent. And so, can you, give me some specific, I, can you give me some specifics? The specific would be parent choice, right? In my district, there are schools that only 3% of the kids are meeting academic proficiency. They're failing. They've been failing for 50 years. I'm from that community. And, you know, I challenge people if the schools have been failing for 50 years, if the community is crying infested for 50 years, and it's been only Democrat leaders in that community, the problem is not the Republicans. The problem is the Democrats. And hmm. so I have come to that realization. All right. Uh, from the Wall Street Journal, Jason Riley writing, liberals can't comprehend black economic progress. Positive black economic trends undermine the liberal argument that we live in a society stacked against certain racial and ethnic minority groups. So these trends tend to get downplayed or spun to advance a left wing agenda. Do you feel as though the African-American vote, especially in, in the South, is taken for granted by Democrats? Absolutely. Um, and okay. you know what? I feel sad because a lot of people just don't know, right? You only know what you know. And in politics and policy, we just don't know. And since I've been elected, I've tried to be one of those policymakers where I'm giving information. I'm a physical therapist, so that's what I've done for over 20 years is just help people and give them information and make themselves independent. And, you know, the Democrats don't want to give you information. They don't want to give you information because if you have the information, you might not vote for them. So they give them limited information, mm -hmm. false information, to scare them into thinking that um, Republicans are out to get them, when in actuality, it's them out to get us. All right. Well, the Democrats aren't very happy with you, as you might imagine. Um, so. Uh, I, I tend to think that there's we haven't heard the last of uh, your story or your political career, Misha. So we're going to stay in touch. We'd love to have you back. Unfortunately, we got to run, but thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.